Did you know that sex is actually one of the most pervasive problems in marriage? This one's the one that comes up most in counseling. What I've actually found conversations with colleagues is many will go to counseling and bring it up, but if the counselor isn't comfortable, they they don't talk. They, they, they don't go there. I see this as well as with trauma. Most of the time, they need to be asked. It's one of the first questions I asked. I want to know about where things are at. Why? Because it gives me a gauge. Um, sex has become this huge problem. It doesn't have to be. And what I want to show you today is that actually the answers are right in front of you. A lot of it is perspective. If I'm focused on myself, I'm probably always stuck. If I'm actually focused on serving, it changes everything. Um, your, the solution is actually right there within reach. And it's your own head, your own heart, and your own perspective on this is about a relationship with my husband, with my wife, for me, my wife, um, that if I focus on serving, it changes how I react. Who you are matters. How you view sex, sexuality, all this stuff matters. Your theology matters. Um, so when there's something that becomes a problem, maybe like we're not communicating well, well, maybe I need to focus on listening better or communicating more. That's great. It still comes down to the problem in front of us isn't you know, who we're looking at. It's that mirror that we need to look in and in ourselves. How are you viewing this? How are you skewing this? How are you actually being very self-centered? So what I want to encourage you to do is to think about it from that a different perspective. One of the best ways to do that is to actually have conversations with someone that helps you actually see that from a different perspective. Um, many times it is your own spouse. You're talking with them and they're helping you. You're helping them and you're getting closer. You're building that relationship stronger. Um, and that's what I would hope to see you do and encourage you to do. Um, but other times we have to find outside help for that, and that's fine as well. Um, but the goal of a healthy sex life is to actually it be in a place where it's a good dance between the husband and wife, where you're actually loving each other and serving each other and not focused on me and what I get. Hope this is encouraging. Um, my name is Dr. Corey Gilbert. Talk to you soon. Are you interested in diving deeper into understanding about your marriage and growing as a couple and as a family? Um, I have a free Facebook group that I would love to invite you to. It's facebook.com slash groups slash The Healthy Marriage. The Healthy Marriage. Um, in there, we're actually building you know, videos for like, like this one, um, teaching, conversations. The goal is for you to be able to have a place to actually ask questions, to wrestle and get solid, biblical, healthy good answers about where you're at and what you're struggling with. So I hope you'll um, join us. I hope you'll join in the conversation and I'd love to serve you um, in that Facebook group. So facebook.com slash groups slash the healthy marriage.